a member of the Human Rights Committee of the Italian Senate. Please welcome Senator Roberto Rampi. In February 2021, Assadullah Assadi, a diplomat of the Iranian regime, was sentenced to 20 years of jail in Belgium because he was commanding a dreadful terror plot of mass killing in the Free Iran gathering in Villepin, on Paris, when he was arrested. I am a, a plaintiff uh, because uh, I attended the gathering and could well be done of uh, one of the victims in the plot was thus imploded. I myself closely follow uh, this case. Uh, I presented a variety of parliamentary question to our government in uh, January 2021, and I received a reply for our foreign minister, which specified that uh, any threat to our national security and the European security is unacceptable for Italy. It was also mentioned in the reply that the, the judicial procedure is being monitored by the government and they will be determined uh, and suitable reaction to it in coordination with all the European and other international countries. Now that the judgment has come to the end, the immediate question is that what the suitable action are the EU, the UA and the European government, including mine, uh, is going to take? Will they keep silent and they did up after the court verdict was announced for Assadi last year? Will they say, well, we are in the middle of a, nu a nuclear talks. If uh, we condemn this crime against humanity, which was planned by Haidu's leader in the Tehran, it will jeopardize the talks. So, the best is that we forgot about the rule of law, we forgot about the democracy and human rights principle, and just keep silent and we show no reaction. It could be not possible, I believe. No? Now it's clear that the nuclear talk is dead and uh, is outrageous that the Iranian authorities are blackmailing the Belgian government to realize the terrorists. And it's also <laughs> Ultra just that there are terrorists that uh, seem to be diplomats. So I asked the, the EU and our government to stand firm and let the Mullah know, know that they cannot continue to work with a network of espionage and terror inside Europe. This is necessary for the security of uh, European citizens and also for the one of Iran. If the Iranian regime seem, sees a strong reaction by the EU and European leaders, it, in this case, they, they will conclude that there is no way and that they can have a nuclear bomb. Therefore, I seriously call on the European Union, as well as my government, to take the following action. First of all, in response to the Iranian regime challenge, tools have ordered the terrorist act and are among Iran's high-ranking authorities must be persuaded and brought to justice. Second, designate Iran Ministry of Intelligence uh, in their entirely as a terrorist state. Put their agents and mercenaries in European country on trial punish and expel them, granting political asylum to the citizen, to these mercenaries in Europe country should be a red line. As shown by the experience, the facilities are tool in the hands of regime for espionage and terrorism. And third, we also stress on the need for a firm approach to any attempt of blackmail, extortion, and hostage taken by the Iranian engine. Appeasing this regime is feeding like crocodile. 